about a year and a half ago, we actually started down the adventure of, of not just looking at how do you save energy, but how do you build a building so that it's better for the people who are occupying it and better for the environment as a whole. By figuring out how to improve our envelope and then changing our energy source from traditional gas-fired to a geothermal system. The nice thing about Ann Arbor and the area where we're using it is that after you go down about 125, 135 feet, you run into the bedrock and it works ideally for the geothermal systems. We did water conservation by changing out all of our toilet fixtures for water conserving fixtures. Our sensor faucets of these hydro dams, as the water runs through it, it actually turns a flywheel and that flywheel turns a generator and the generator recharges the battery. We went for the uh, uh, site side by improving the water retention, the water quality aspects with the green roof. Our building is one that's sandwiched between two buildings on the uh, east and west sides and had uh, literally two windows, one on the north, one on the south. One of those was roughly two foot by two foot and we had to bring a thousand pound steel beams through that window and then um, help put them up uh, to support the green roof. And then material selections. You can really do something fun. You can do something that is really neat looking and it doesn't have to be different. It's not products that, uh, that you're not familiar with. Uh, this is a product called Bonded Logic. It's the perfect insulation. It's blue jeans and it's completely organic. It's made up of cotton. We put it into a product called our Truth Wall. Our Truth Wall has four different kinds of insulation and it'll allow someone to come up and be able to see how these systems perform. We worked with a group called the Urban Wood Dot Organization. It's a group harvesting wood from urban environments. So our conference room here has a skirt area made out of ash from an emerald ash borer tree that had to be followed. We have a number of things called rapidly renewable, which means that the products uh, grow in nature in a, in a cycle typically under 10 years. We have uh, bamboo flooring uh, down in our lobby. We also have cork, which can be harvested off of the trunk of a tree and grows back in about seven years. We have rubber, and uh, we have recycled rubber. Uh, we have uh, tires that have been ground up and turned into flooring. And we have uh, linoleum. We've used that not only in flooring, but also as our countertops. We've introduced corn throughout. We've got corn as a fabric you know, by using a product called PLA. We've used that in day 3C t-shirts. We've used it in the fabric for bulletin boards as well. Groups are coming to us now and taking the tour and learning more about sustainable buildings. And that's what it's really all about is how do we, as an advocates for sustainable design, uh, reach out to the community, get them more excited about the potential of doing these sorts of things. And the retreat seems to be doing that. And we enjoy being here. And when someone comes, they seem to enjoy it as well.